championship. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is for the Supreme Pro Wrestling Extreme Championship. Now, as you know, as you all know, Before we can start this match, ladies and gentlemen, we need to find out just exactly what kind of match this is going to be. from Studio 54, weighing in at 190 pounds, the Boogeyman, Joe DeSoul! And from Sacramento, California, weighing in at 155 pounds, with a net worth of two cars, three houses, and a bar in Texas, he is the current holder and defender of the SPW Extreme title, Virgil Flynn! And from Fresno, California, weighing in at 180 pounds. You tell him to take that jersey off right now! Tell him! Uh, I'm the champion of microphone. You tell him to take that freaking jersey off! Weighing in at 180 pounds, he is the current Supreme Pro Wrestling Extreme Champion. Champion of everything. The novelist, CJ Curves. Well, this match is about to get underway. The SPW Extreme Title Match. The Nihilist CJ Curse, the current champion, defending against Virgil Flynn, who currently has possession of the belt, as well as Joe DeSalle, who feels that he was cheated in his opportunity to get the title belt. And, uh... <laughs> and this match is underway with a little schoolyard trickery. by Joe DeSol and Virgil Flynn. CJ Kerr is heading for the hills. All three of these men just as comfortable in the air as they are on their feet. And as it was announced just moments ago, this match is a triple threat. Falls count anywhere match. That means that the pinfall can happen in the ring, on the floor, it can happen on a chair, in the bathroom, against the wall, anywhere. Anywhere. Virgil Flynn, uh, the current holder and defender of the SPW Extreme Championship. CJ Curse, the actual SPW Extreme Champion. Well, Virgil Flynn's argument has been that possession is nine-tenths of the law. Which 
He does have a case with that. Although he actually he has not actually won this championship. Well, not yet. And both men jogging for position. Wait a minute. Hip toss it. Joe DeSola hip tossing Virgil Flynn into CJ Curse. And Virgil Flynn carrying with a Hurricane Rana. Oh, tap dancing on CJ Curse's soul. Uh oh. Can he be going for another? And he's off. A series of kicks to Virgil. Oh. CJ Kurtz using those lethal kicks of his to bring down Joe DeSol and Virgil Flynn. Oh. oh, wow! You see the air Virgil caught on that. Well, not surprising. Virgil Flynn, uh, many don't know this, Virgil Flynn is actually encased in an anti-gravity bubble that allows him to fly like that. Is that what it is? Yes. It's, uh, it, it's brand new science. It has yet to be in, uh, yet to be introduced to the public. Oh! Well, like I said, all of these men just as comfortable in the air as they are on their feet. Oh! CJ Kirsch feels just as comfortable using his feet as a weapon as he does his fists. Oh! CJ Kirsch sending Joe Soul to the outside of the ring. Uh-oh. Curse is on the move. Oh, dives through, takes Joe to Soul out. Ah, uh, suicide dive by CJ Curse. Wait, Virgil's going up. Virgil's up. And he's airborne. Oh, moonsault off the top rope. And he's on his feet. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Showboat, the, sh the pure showboat that is Virgil Flynn. This crowd, they are into this match. Ooh, that echoed throughout the building. Oh, and another one. Joe DeSol responding in kind. Oh, oh, just the sound of the slapping flesh. And Curse, Curse removing himself from the equation. Someone biting his time on the outside. Yeah. He's looking under the ring. Looking under the ring. This can't bode well for the others. No, Anytime CJ Curse is I, looking under the ring. I wonder what's under that ring. It can't be. It cannot be good. I, I see. A, I see a couple of chairs. CJ Curse has a weapon. And in this match, it is perfectly legal. Virgil going for a pin, getting a two count. CJ just pulling Virgil to the outside of the ring. Slamming his head into a chair. Oh, no. Wait a minute. And Joe DeSol looking for something under the ring as well. Two count only. Wait, does Joe DeSol have records? It looks like Joe DeSol has LP albums. Joe DeSol has straight vinyl. Oh! Now that's not like. And there goes the greatest hits of Joe DeSol. Two count for Joe DeSol. Oh, CJ Kurz responds that looks like in kind. some sort of uh, a platter, a, a serving tray of sorts, oh, hidden in the sleeve. CJ Kurz has a record of his own. Oh, CJ Kurz being a one-hit wonder. Just scooped up Virgil Flynn and tossed.
sits through those chairs. That was that was just wrong. I don't think um, any amount of, of training could prepare you for something like that. No. And I don't necessarily think that's a move they teach you in wrestling school. Certainly not. Joe Soul breaking that record on CJ Curse's head. That was a smash hit from Joe DeSoul. And the fight has spilled out of the ring and all the way to the other side of the building as these three guys try to fight it out to see who walks away with the Supreme Pro Wrestling Extreme title. Well, they all want this belt. I know that. Like we said, CJ is, uh, when you get down to brass tacks, he is the rightful owner of this belt. He is. Virgil has been in possession of this title for many months. Oh, as Virgil's, Virgil's uh, argument has been that possession is nine-tenths of the law. And Joe DeSoul actually uh, has competed for this title in, in recent months. Um, I, uh, is that another record? I think he's feeling is somewhat that a, is slighted. Is that a dresser drawer? That is a dresser drawer. And CJ Curtis has with him a framed picture of something. Pulling stuff from every side of the ring. Looks like Virgil just got dropped on some chairs over there. I heard the glass crack from all the way over here. Not sure which one got that, but I'm thinking it was Joe. It's possible. Choice words from CJ Curse. CJ bringing Virgil back over to the ring. You see, referee Toby still still uh, cradling his head and neck from uh, his assault earlier from Drake Younger and Dylan Mustafa Saeed. I'm sure he'll be feeling the effects of that tombstone for quite a while. Or file driver. Yeah. If either one of those guys is giving you a pile driver, it's pretty much going to be a tombstone for you, right? Good, good save. Back to the back to this match. Virgil's airborne. And a head scissor. Head scissor takedown by Virgil Flynn. And here comes the cover. That's a two. Just a two count. Now, where is Joe DeSoul in all of this? Joe DeSoul is reeling from the assault. And we can already see the security crew coming in to clean up the broken glass. Wait a minute. He's going for it. Virgil Flynn's going up top. Oh, there's Joe DeSoul. Oh! CJ gets those knees up right in the midsection of Virgil. That drove the, all the wind out of Virgil Flynn. Joe DeSoul coming back with that serving platter. Looks like Joe DeSoul was trying to serve CJ Curse his own hand on a silver platter. Indeed. Indeed. The crowd rallying behind Joe DeSoul. And a Russian leg sweep. CJ Curse kicking out and hitting Joe DeSoul with that. Oh! That serving tray is taking a beating. And giving them. I suppose in these hardcore matches, it is better to give than to receive. You said a mouthful there, Will. CJ Curse is airborne. Oh! Joe DeSoul catching CJ Curse, driving him face first to the mat. And again with the serving tray.
Oh, another record. Oh, Virgil drop kicking that record right into the face of Joe DeSoul. That's one way to kickstart a career. Curse is on the move. Oh. Oh. Uh -oh. Tap dancing on the soul again. Cannonball to CJ Curse while he's tied up in the ropes, hanging upside down. Oh! This has been a fast paced, hard hitting match. Oh! I, I can barely keep up with all this action. I, I, I just can't. There's kicks flying everywhere, there's bodies flying everywhere. Each one of these men wants this title bad. They want to walk out with this championship. Joe's up top. And a crossbody. Sending all three men to the floor. And a two count. CJ Curse looking a little wobbly here. CJ Curse has a hold of this wooden desk drawer, and, and I'm not I'm not liking this. I'm not having a good feeling from this. This is gonna be nothing but ugly. It can only be. This is uh doesn't bode well. And there's a chair stack on top of it. This is uh, I, I I don't like. I'm not gonna like what's coming next. Yeah, you, know, you never know what you're gonna get in a matchup with CJ Curse. A lot of pain, that's for sure. But when the stipulation is added that it's for the Extreme Championship here in SPW. Oh, Curse going up for the 450. And blocked by Virgil Flynn. And uh, both of them fighting on top of the top rope. Joe DeSoul on his feet. Essentially fighting over who What's gets he, to administer the 450. Here? What's going on here? All three men up top. Someone's bleeding. I see some blood on Joe DeSoul, and I don't think that that's Drake's oh, oh, blood from oh, earlier. Oh, oh. This is, uh... What? I don't like this. What are we seeing here? What the hell was that, Will? Awesome is what that was. And there's a pin. And only a two count. How was he even able so to kick out of that? Curse. Oh, so close, but only a two count. I, wow. I can't believe that. I can't believe either man could kick out after that. That was just, that should have been it. That should have been the that end of one, everything. That was one of the most incredible moves I have seen, not only this night, but ever. The, the ingenuity of Joe DeSoul, the innovativeness of Joe DeSoul. That, that's what makes him a force to be reckoned with. That's what's going to make him a contender, if not the champion tonight. Well, it goes to show he's doing more than dancing and powdering his nose at Studio 54. And a stomp. Wait a minute. Virgil Flynn trying to get a vertical base. Oh no! Oh! Spino remains! Oh my goodness! Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, CJ Kurtz! I don't I don't believe that.